Whoa! What the heck happened last night, Ruby? Got some dang snow. A pretty decent amount, too. I mean, here's a little bit of reference. I mean, a decent amount, actually. Oh, man. So today is definitely a snow day. My boss texted us this morning to work a remote day. So we're, uh, Emily and I are both home today, and we're keeping Leah home from the sitter. Going to spend the day at home. But today's, uh, today's workouts should be interesting. I'm probably just going to do an outdoor run. I've, in our neighborhood, it's actually kind of fun to run in the snow because there's very little traffic. So I'll just throw my trail shoes on and then uh, run in the snow for a little bit. So that'll probably be the plan later on. It's like 13 degrees right now. It's supposed to get up to like 18 or 19. So I'll probably wait till it warms up just a little bit and then go do that. And then the indoor run will most likely have to just be an at-home workout. But if uh, I feel like the roads are good enough, I might head to the gym. But before all that, definitely need to get some breakfast down. I woke up like starving this morning. So Ruby, let's go get some breakfast. Come on, come on. Every single time, baby. Okay, it is 11.30 and it is lunchtime. So I'm running it back with eight ounces of ground turkey, half a cup of rice and some G. Hughes Honey Barbecue yet again. This meal never messes, ma'am. So I'm gonna eat this, do some work, relax for a little bit, and then uh, get ready for workout number one, which is gonna be a run outside. It's uh, still a little bit of snow has come down since, since the first update. But I'm just going to bundle up really nice, throw on my trail shoes, and knock out 45 minutes outside. All right. Bundled up, baby. Emily thinks I'm crazy. But we're going to go for about 45 minutes at least outside. Still coming down pretty good. It's so bright. But we're going to get it done, aren't we, Ruby? Let's go. Definitely need this today. Keto and IQ. And your old cheer warm up man. Jet fuel, baby. Beautiful out here, man. Beautiful. Day 13. Workout number one. As you can see, it's covered in snow here. We got a couple inches last night while we were at our friend's house <coughs> watching some cheerleading, but we had to in the night early and come home because the snow was not stopping and it was sticking pretty good. And then overnight, we got more and it just hasn't stopped today. But it's beautiful. But the downside is, I'm not gonna be leaving the house today. Today's a remote work day and I'm just not gonna chance it on these roads. The neighborhood is pretty much completely covered. Some of the main roads seemed okay, but I always have to remember there are other drivers, so I don't want to chance anything happening. So I'll do an indoor workout later, either some type of like core and push up circuit, or I'll jump on the garage treadmill and do another run or some incline walking, something. But I am 40 minutes in to this run, a little over four miles. So I'm gonna finish this out, get back inside and get warm. Whew. You ready? Get set. Go, Ruby. <laughs> Back from my run. Man, that was a good one. It uh, snowed on me the whole time. My face was like covered in snow and was like freezing to my facial hair. Uh, but glad that I went and got that done because it's not letting up anyway. But yeah, like I said, I just, I'm not going to chance getting out today. 
Really wanted to go and hit a, a solid push session today. Push session? Push session. My mouth's not working in this cold. At the gym today, but uh, not going to chance getting in a wreck or anything like that because the gym is about a 15 plus minute drive from the house. So I'll just get an indoor workout here at the house or in the garage at some point today. But uh, this girl, Ruby, is just absolutely loving the snow right now. She's like getting the zoomies and running around in it like crazy. She's been begging to go outside all day today. Bring her in, immediately wants to go back outside. So I'm going to play with her outside for a little bit. And then get some work done at the table. This is why I can never work remote like full time. I can do it. I can do it today though. I can do it. Currently in the garage for workout number two. Uh, walking on a 4% incline. Going to do this for about 45 minutes. That's the plan. And uh, just finished up my reading in the first 10 minutes of this. I had a couple pages left for the day. Finding Ultra. And I'm really almost done with the book. I just have a little bit left here. So knocking out some reading while I'm getting this workout in. And then uh, after this, I'll just have about a half a gallon of water to drink. And then that'll be it for the day. But I will say, it sucks. Like being snowed in, I'm just not the type of person that can sit at home all day. Especially whenever I'm trying to fit in two workouts. Like I really, really wanted to go to the gym. And even after my run, after I'd said I wasn't gonna go, I was still was toying with the idea. And I knew it wasn't the right thing to do. So it's hard and it messes with you mentally too. And it makes the day more challenging and it makes the day drag by and it just allows more time to ponder, which I generally don't like. Um, but we're getting through it. It is about four o'clock-ish and uh, we're gonna finish the day strong. Um, overall, happy with today. Just throws a wrench in, a wrench in your plan sometimes. You just gotta deal with it. It's part of this challenge is dealing with the unexpected. So finish this workout, get back in, shower up, and then get ready for dinner. Woo! Man, it's still coming down. I don't know if you can really see. Got a little bit of snow still coming down. But I finished up workout number two for the day. And uh, in the first like 10 minutes of that, like I said, I finished my reading. So all I have left to do today is finish my water. So like half a gallon of water. But uh, I ended up doing like a run-walk mix on the treadmill. So I ended up going a little over three miles. Uh, 45 minutes, 28 seconds. It was like a 14, 43 minute per mile pace. Because like I said, I did like a run-walk. Um, just to get the heart rate up a little bit and feel like I was getting some extra work because it's freezing in the garage so I really wasn't sweating that much and uh, yeah just change the pace up a little bit so uh, like I said it's it's been kind of hard today to just like be stationary but the safest thing for us to do was to just stay home and uh, sometimes you just need these days where it like really challenges you in a different way and I'm kind of feeling that today so I'm having a little bit more gratitude from it now but it was hard it's hard when you like have sunny days, nice days, and then you get stuck at home because of this. But nonetheless, that is day 13. Almost completely finished now. It's uh, a little after 5 o'clock, so we're going to get some dinner here soon. And then uh, that'll be it. But this really is beautiful, man. <laughs> well, sincerest apologies. Absolutely crushed my dinner. I had no. We'll never see his dinner. <laughs> Smart him. ass. I had chicken rice, Chihi's barbecue sauce, and then uh, we had like a quarter bag of Brussels sprouts left. So I made those in the air fryer and crushed it. I've been starving all day today. It's weird how like sitting at home just makes you more hungry for whatever reason. You just want to like snack and eat all day. Um, but I do have some room for uh, some protein sludge and rice cakes later, so I'm going to have that after I get a shower. But I think we're going to close out day number 13 here, because once I shower, we're going to relax on the couch, throw a movie on, and then uh, call it a night, and we'll see if we go in the office tomorrow. I'm going to do my best, because sitting at home drives me crazy. This is how we feel about being home all day. So, with that being said, day 13 is a wrap. See you tomorrow, day number 14. That'll be two weeks tomorrow. Wow.